Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series and my name is Anil. This is the fourth video of our Angular project series. In this video, we will see how we can add the bootstrap in our Angular applications. So there is a lots of way to use the bootstrap in Angular, but I'm just going to use this one. All right. So uh, first of all, I have to install the bootstrap package and after that we have to uh, add this css inside the angular.json uh, file all right now let's see and after that we have to just restart our server and we can just easily apply the bootstrap and we will use this link inside the navigation and uh, the navigation code we will get from the official website of the bootstrap so that if you need this this code you can also get the official website also all right even i'm just going to provide the complete project link uh, of the code in the description box also all right so let's leave it and just clear the command line and uh, just choose here a normal command npm install minus minus save bootstrap and hit then enter all right so it will just take uh, a little bit time within this time we can just provide this link inside the angular.json file and you will find this file inside the root of your project so here you can see that and let's go inside the uh, style section and you can just simply paste it here all right and nothing you do uh, else about it so perfect after that let's check the package is installed now we can just uh, restart our uh, npm server like this and uh, let's go on the official website of the bootstrap so just go here bootstrap for navigation because we need only navigation for a moment let's click on it and let's uh, see that this this is the complex a little bit complex uh, for a beginner but i'm just going to provide a navbar for the beginner level so let's go little, a little bit down and you can see that we can just copy this code from here all right or you can just click here here copy so this is working fine now this boot shall be installed now let's go on the app dot component.html file so that we can just make the links for uh, navigation that's here all right so i am just going to paste these things here let's uh, just copy our head tag and provide here like this and uh, i can also just remove this tag from here now we have to just check that is it uh, looking fine yes so now let's provide these link here so what we actually have to do let's copy this link from here and we can just simply paste it here like this hi everyone welcome back to my angular project series and in this video we will see that how we can add the bootstrap in our application so this is the fourth video of our series if you did not watch over the previous video then you can get the link from the description box now let's get started these are the points to install the bootstrap so first of all we have to just uh, uh, install the npm install uh, say bootstrap then we just have to use this line and we have to uh, put on the angular.json file then we will restart our uh, bootstrap server and we will just apply the bootstrap navigation bar also and the bootstrap navigation bar we will get from the official website of the angler so that we can save a little bit time and you also know that how we can you will also get to know that how we can just uh, uh, get the code from the another website and how we can just paste it here all right so now let's start here so first of all i'm just going to clear the command line from here and just write here npm i or npm install minus minus save bootstrap and uh, just hit the enter all right so it will just take a little bit time within that time we can just copy this line from here to paste on the root angular.json file here just find the style uh, array here and let's paste it here simply all right so i hope bootstrap is installed it's it's just taking a little bit time 
yeah that's installed now just uh, we can just restart our server from here all right so after that we have to just uh, copy the code from the official website of the bootstrap for navbar so just right here uh, bootstrap for navigation and let's click on the first link okay so just find the simplest one and i will just find the simplest one here all right so just copy this code or you can just directly click on this link copy the both have the same thing go inside the src folder and our the app.component.html file because here we have to just define the roots all right so just paste it on the top and here let's provide the application name resto right so we can just remove it from here now let's see how is it look like now you can see that this is completely fine with a navigation bar so now let's uh, just paste this link from copy to here and uh, let's paste it here like this all right so let's paste all just copy from everything from here to here let's third one fourth one for uh, login and last one for the registration all right so after that pasting here we must have to apply this class also let's copy this class from here to here like this 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 one and the last also now we can just remove these things from here and now let's see what we are getting here now you can see that we have a perfect links for here and we can also just remove these things we don't need them all right now let's uh, do one more thing now you can see that there is no space for padding between uh, uh, list um, resto works so we can just uh, use here a uh, div and just use a class with the class name container this is the bootstrap class all right so just make it here and now let's see what we are getting here now you can see that we have a space between them now i am just going to put here h1 tag in every component so that we can just see the little bit more text all right so let's come back here and uh, Let's paste it like this. Right. Let's do it in the second one also. And the login. Why I'm go going to do it? Because as you know that uh, uh, where we have to do the change. But if some beginner guy don't know that how we can just change the component and how this stuff is coming from, where it's coming from then he will just get to know these things also right so i think everything is fine all files are changed here add restaurant okay this 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 update is pending so let's go for the update last one is here and we will change it here also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video because we are just going to make a complete project here right so bye bye, take care.